Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Abby, and I'm back with a video um, which is more of a response to a comment that was made by one of my subscribers, Nightly Rose. So, Nightly commented, Thanks for sharing your journey and experience with us. I've been natural going on 10, 10 years and I've reached all my hair goals. I've considered getting sister locks in the past, but now I'm certain, however, I'm confused. What's the difference between the method of interlocking? micro locks and sister locks. Can you describe the method that was used in your hair? Okay, so Nightly Rose, um, I'm gonna describe what interlocking is, um, what traditional locks are, micro locks, and um, the different you know sectors of micro locks. So, and I hope this helps you to kind of gain an understanding and kind of make a decision on whether you're gonna get sister locks or maybe look at other options that's out there for you. So what is interlocking? Interlocking is a method used to retighten locks. That could be traditional locks and that could be micro locks. Traditional locks are a thicker set of locks and it's more common and um, you know, more people can, this, it's more out there I feel than sister locks and micro locks and braid locks and other forms of locks. Um, with micro locks, you can, I mean with interlocks, inter, the interlocking method, you can do that do that method with traditional locks as well as well as micro locks. Um, there's also pros and cons for traditional locks um, when it comes to interlocking. One of the pros for interlocking with traditional locks is that you can get your hair wet right away. Um, you don't have to, you know, wait. You can get your hair wet the same day we tighten your hair, which is a plus. And also, you can. Um, with, with prom rolling, you know, you need product, but with interlocking, you don't use any product. So you can, because you use a tool, so you don't need any products for interlocking or um, retightening your hair. And another thing is, um, you know, with prom rolling, you can, you know, it lasts, it, it may not last as long as interlocking. So that's those are the uh, pros of interlocking um, for, for traditional locks. And there's also cons. One of the cons, one of the main cons that I've heard is that you may not get that spare look. There's a uniform spare look that you get when you prom roll, but with interlocking, you may not get that look. Um, so that's, I've heard of people interchanging and some people may, you know, one time interlock and another time palm roll so they can, so they can at least try and um, get that, that um, sphere look. Another thing with interlocks, which is a con, is that it's a little bit more labor intensive than palm rolling and also it may not be as easy to do interlocking, may not be as easy to do than palm rolling. So those are the pros and the cons of interlocking with traditional locks. So now let's look at micro locks and what that is. So micro locks can be sister locks, it could be braid locks, and it could be any form of locks that started even with like, you can start it with the twist. So it's small locks, not as thick as traditional locks. A lot of people um, kind of gauge it by saying any locks smaller, as small or as uh, smaller than a pencil size, the size of a pencil. Um, so there's different things, the different things that qualify, um, that make sister, sister locks, sister locks, and not like other micro locks. So with sister locks, um, there's a certain technique that is done with sister locks that makes it sister locks. Sister locks, the interlocking method is started from all the way from the tip of the hair, all the way to the root. So when they install your hair, they're interlocking the hair from the tip all the way to the root of your hair. And that is why it's so expensive because that is very labor intensive and it could take hours or days for you to install your hair opposed to braid locks that could be less, not as labor intensive, intensive because you're just braiding down the hair. Um, and um, that may be much more time, you know, less time consuming than sister locks. Another thing with sister locks is that you, it's recommended that you, it's rec recommended that you go to a certified consultant or trainee. Now with braid locks, you can really go to any um, any person really and um, get them to make do very small, very small locks on your hair, 
opposed to doing the interlocking method. Now, when I was gonna get my sister locks done, that method, the braid lock method, was offered to me as an option, and I chose not to do that, even though I know it was gonna be half the half the um, the cost of sister locks because. I also heard that with braid locks, it takes a while for you to braid, um, for the braid look, for the braid look to you know go away, for it to start to look like actual locks. And I figured with the interlock method, since it's like intertwining the hair, um, it's not gonna be you know it's gonna look more like locks sooner than the braid locks, which is why I decided to go with sister locks. Opposed to, opposed to getting braid locks. Now there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with braid locks. They're beautiful, you can get the same look for a fraction of the price um, as sister locks. It's just, you know, I think everything has their, um, their pros and their cons, really. Um, with, the maintaining, uh, with the maintenance of um, sister locks and braid locks, you use the interlocking method. Um, with sister locks, there's, um, there's different um, rotations um, that is recommended for different hair textures and different densities, um, de depending on your hair density. There's the three-point rotation, there's the four-point rotation, I know that's the also the four-point, there's the four-reverse point rotation, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But those rotations are based on your hair and your hair textures and um, and um, the density of your hair. So the cons your consultant will kind of make a determination at your um, your consultation with which um, block pattern would work best for your hair. And when it comes to affordability and cost, I think it really depends. I can't say sister locks would cost more and braid lock would cost less because you could go to somebody who's gonna rip you off and give make you pay sister lock prices for braid locks. And you could go and find a trainee that's gonna give you a very good discount on your sister lock and do an amazing job. So it really depends. You really gotta do your research and you know and kind of figure out which one is best and which one works best for you and it's more cost effective for you. I wanted sister locks because I like the look of sister locks. Like I said, braid locks was an option for me. I chose sister locks instead. Not to say braid locks is not great because they all have their it's all gonna look they're all ultimately gonna look the same. Their sister locks has a certain thing that it requires that's required with sister locks, like a certain amount of, of locks that's required for you to qualify your hair to qualify as sister locks. There's a, your hair has to be in good, um, nice grids. It has to have a neat grids. That's sister locks, and um, other micro locks may not necessarily have to have those perfect grids. So just do what whatever works for you. Um, all of them are beautiful traditional locks. All types of micro locks, all of them are beautiful. So do whatever it works for you. Thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I have 900 plus subscribers. Come on, let's make it a thousand. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Stay blessed. Peace and love. <laughs>